Hi, I'm Cash with Cashed Out Cars, and in today's video, I'm going to be doing a small review and overview of this VGate Scan VS450 scanner. Now, this scanner is aimed pretty much at Volkswagen products, so if you don't have a Volkswagen, this probably isn't the scanner for you right off the bat, but if you do, it's a very helpful tool. Here's the scanner itself. It does come with the cord to connect your scanner to your vehicle's OBD2 port. It comes with a nice carrying case and of course a little bit of literature, the owner's manual. So the first thing that I want to do here is just go through the features of the scanner. So when you turn it on, you see your Volkswagen and your Audi logo, because like I said, this is made for that sort of German car. And then you click yes, and it gives you a couple options. So the top one is Volkswagen and Audi, so you can click on that. And in this section, you'll be able to scan individual areas of your car to see what's wrong. So they have a lot of options in here. I will quickly go through them. They have engine, automatic transmission, airbags, ABS brakes, heating, ventilation, air conditioning, all that stuff, central electrics, steering wheel, instruments, auxiliary heat, can gateway, which to be honest, I don't know what that means, all wheel drive, your immobilizer, central locks, navigation, I don't know what this one means either, or that one, or xenon range, and then you could check your radio. So as you can see, there are plenty of options here for things to scan. Um, for an example, I'll click on engine because I do have some codes right there. So if you click on engine, it enters the system and then it gives you the option to read codes, erase codes, check ECU information and do a readiness test. So reading codes will obviously tell you what's wrong with certain areas of your car. A couple of these don't have definitions on mine. I don't know why, but I do know that it is helpful to take that number and type it into Google and stuff will come up if it's not defined in the scanner itself. Um, as you can see, this one's not defined for me, but there are other ones that are defined, like my rear heater core temp sensor apparently through a code, my coolant temperature sensor engine outlet through a code, and here are just a couple more that through codes. So as you can see, very helpful for learning what's wrong about your car. You could also erase codes to get rid of things if you think that it accidentally threw a code, or if you fixed it and want to get rid of it and make sure that the problem's actually gone. You could also click on here and access ECU information, which could be helpful. And you could also do a readiness test, which checks to see if you're good to go through emissions and stuff like that. And this checks a whole bunch of sensors, tells you if they pass or not. Very helpful stuff. So going a little bit more, OBD2 and EOBD is onboard diagnostics. This one's European onboard diagnostics. It just depends on where you are. Um, also super helpful, throws, throws a bunch of codes and shows you what those codes are. In my case, I could read codes and see that I have cylinder misfires, which is a problem. Right now my car is down on power. So that's helpful to go through, actually see the codes, see which cylinders are misfiring. As you can see, I have five, four, and three, according to this, which is not a good thing. Um, you can erase those codes too. If your car is pre-2000, you could go in here and turn off your oil service light if you do maintenance yourself, which could be helpful. My car is in 07, so I don't really use that, but it is nice to have. And then finally, there's a nice system setup where you could change contrast of the screen. You could test your display, make sure there are no pixels out in the screen. Test your keys and change your unit of measure to metric or English, depending on where you are in the world. So as you can see, this is a pretty nice scanner. It's definitely very simple and easy to use, but it does get the job done, which is what you want out of one of these scanners. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful in showing you what one of these VS450 scanners could do, how their interface works, and if it is the right scanner for you. So like I said, I think this is a very nice scanner. It's pretty simple, but it does what it needs to do. It shows you codes and it's a pretty good option. So. Thanks again for watching. I hope to see you in the next one and take care.